what have I been up to? Just traveling the world, being in Australia, being back home, seeing my family in England, um, enjoying myself, riding my motorbike, uh, my downhill mountain bike, um, just some fun shit, man, just getting away from the stresses of fighting, you know. I love still being training and just not worrying about competing, um, not chasing down the next guy that I'm going to fight, not thinking about that, just letting my body heal, get better, uh, and come back 100%, you know. Yeah, my last fight, um, camp was amazing, you know, I had some amazing athletes to work with, amazing coaches, but for some reason my body just didn't take to the camp at all, uh, it went downhill fast. Um, I don't know whether it was mentally, physically, it was just a bad camp, you know. Um, first two weeks of camp out here, I had a real bad chest infection. I, really, I tore my MCL, um, which I didn't know about till after the fight, um, so that was causing the problems. My scapula was messed up, um, and then a week before the fight, um, I got a staph infection in my leg. So I fought the whole fight on antibiotics, and with a hole in my leg. So um, yeah, training camp was bad. Um, physically, I wasn't good. Um, my body wasn't ready for that level of competition in the UFC, but putting aside all the, the bad shit what happened, you know, mentally, I was always still there. You know, that's what I can take from looking back on my career on that fight, you know. Mentally, I'm never beat, you know, and go through the worst shit that can ever happen and I can still put on a performance and take home a win, you know. Um, a fight's a fight, whatever happens, happens, you know. It's how mentally strong you are and then 15 minutes what counts and I proved to myself, my teammates, my coaches, how mentally tough I can be when I need to be. When I got the word about Manchester um, and fighting Melvin, I was just like, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, fans are gonna like this one. You know, Melvin, um, is very dangerous, very explosive. Um, he's got a lot of fights, um, he's got a lot of knockouts. Um, he comes to fight, you know. Um, it's going to be a great fight for the fans. And that's as soon as I seen the name on, on the paper, that's, yep, let's do this, you know. Um, I've met Melvin a few times. He, he's a good dude. Um, you know, there's no bad feelings going towards him. This is just a business, and it's exciting fights that I want, and this is exciting fight that I'm getting. You know, so I'm 100% committed to fighting him, and and I can't wait to to get in there in front of the home fans, and, and be back in England. You know, be back on my home soil where where I very first started. You know, um, it's going to be amazing. The atmosphere is going to be amazing there, and uh, I'm excited to put on a show. I'm looking to chase the belt. Obviously, my main goal in the UFC is to be a champion. You know, but I don't want fights where I'm going to get stuck up against the cage for 15 minutes and fans talking shit about how boring that fight was, you know. That's just not the way I am. I, I come to fight, I come to put on a show. Um, fans pay good money to come to be entertained and, and I think my fighting style is an entertaining style, you know. So I don't want to be matched up with someone that's just going to pin us or someone that's just going to try and stop me from going out and fighting. You know, I want guys that's going to come and fight me, so I have to fight back. Whether I, whether I win, lose, draw, get knocked out, get submitted, I want fights that guys are coming to fight us, you know. There's a lot of excitement there, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of nerves, there's a lot of excitement going into, going back home and showing the fans back home in England what, what I'm learning, what I'm doing, all this traveling around the world and seeing how much I've improved, and you know. Um, I'm a UK-based fighter, but I've traveled the world fighting. Uh, I've taken time out of my own life to come and live out here in San Diego and training with the best fighters in the world, the best coaches, and, and improve, you know. And, and I want to show the fans that as well, you know. I want to show the fans how much uh, I'm raising to the top of, of the game, you know. I'm not just one of these guys that's going to sit around mid-table average guy wins some, lose some, you know, I want to show guys that I'm here and, and I'm here for a reason, you know, I'm no, I, I feel I'm, I'm the best in the world, I feel that I've got the ability to knock anyone out, I feel I've got the ability to beat anyone on any given day and uh, yeah, I'm with the best team and, and I love being out here.